everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. You ask the questions down in the comment section underneath this video on YouTube. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag, then I and the Scuba Diver Magazine subscribers answer your comments so that you can get an answer as soon as possible. But as soon as I can, I turn that question into a video that might hopefully better explain and answer your questions and others can learn as well uh, because there are no silly questions when it comes to scuba diving. But today I'm answering a question from Marcus about losing logbooks. So Marcus says, hi Mark, uh, I am very appreciative of all of your content as it has been top notch, uh, especially your Apex and Shearwater reviews, thank you. Um, my question for you is this, several years ago during a move from one home to a new one, somehow my logbook went missing. Uh, while my cert cards were in my log binder, those are easily replaced for the appropriate fee of course, uh, however, it's the dive information that I am truly missing as I have no way of reproducing any of that information. Whilst my number of dives has not been numerous, under 50, it is annoying nonetheless as I want to go to Dive Master in the near future. What would be my best course of action? Just start over at dive number one or start at the dive number I know I was at, uh, which would likely be less than the um, the actual number of dives. Thoughts, thank you for your time and keep up the great work. I will. Um, personally, I would restart at the approximate dive number that you remember. Uh, the minimum dive count is a requirement for several courses out there, but your instructor won't want to see every single logged dive. Um, especially when you get up to like instructor and it's like 100, they're not going to check every single individual page and count them off. They're just gonna to wanna to see the 100 or the 50 and 60 or whatever it is nowadays for Dive Master. Um, it's, it's really not a scientific process and they're gonna assess you more on what you're like in the water than what you actually have written in the logbook. And this happened to me where I, I lost logbooks and I've tried to, I tried to get back to kind of where I was, but there's a real gap of logged dives. So I was looking through the multiple dive computers that I've been using, trying to like tally up all of the logs and then like restart it. But I don't know my exact dive log number, which sucks. Um, but yeah, when you when you go to like sign up for for dive master and instructor and whatnot, they're they're not going to be interested in yeah seeing the entire logbook. Um, they just want to make sure that yes, you have actually logged fifty dives, um, and that can be as little as just writing fifty in the dive number count. Um, they can we can tell if you you haven't done them. Um, but yeah, that's where kind of the trust comes into it when it comes to logging dives. We're kind of trusting that people do log them correctly and accurately. Um, but at the end of the day, it really is just someone writing down all of this information and then just a squiggle at the bottom with a signature. Um, anyone can do that really. So yeah, it's, it's more about um, yeah, what you're like in front of students, um, interacting, performing skills and doing things in the water. That's where you're going to be judged more. The, the logbook thing is more of a formality and more of a like guide to you need to have about this amount of experience before it's worth you starting this course um, just to make sure that you're comfortable in your own equipment, you're comfortable in the water to be able to start looking after other people in the water. Um, but yeah, I, it's, if you know your, your rough dive log number, I probably would just start at that. Uh, if you do have a, um, a dive computer, uh, try and look through the dives on that. If you've been renting dive computers, it's tough because they usually reset them if they even bother. Um, so no, I wouldn't go back to square one because that's kind of pointless. You, you'd have to, I mean, you'd have to do at least four. Um, but no, the, the cert cards, yeah, most cert cards are digital nowadays. You don't get a, a tangible. I mean, that always kind of seemed a little bit silly that the um, the one company that's focused on marine plastics and all that kind of stuff and single use plastics and they produce plastic cert cards. Uh, yeah, that always seemed a little bit weird. And I think they've turned away from that. Um, I mean, even Dan 
Dan insurance was quite useful because you got these um, uh, these cards, but you'd get one once a year as you renew it. It was useful because it has your information on the back. So I used to put it in those little like windows on bags just so that I could identify it. Um, and it has like emergency phone numbers and stuff. So if something happened to me, uh, someone could go to that and all of my um, uh, like insurance details is right there. Um, and they have funky colors on it. But um, yeah, as far as diving cert numbers, as long as you have, it's more of a pain for the instructor, but as long as you have your name um, and your date of birth, they should be able to look you up as long as they have internet access and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it's more of a pain, it's far easier if you just have a card to, here I am, I am X certified. Um, but yeah, if all else fails, they can look you up. Um, otherwise, yeah, don't bother starting at like dive number one, that's, that's a waste of time. Start at roughly where you think you were and, um, and just continue to log your dives from there. Otherwise, yeah, think about digital um, log books as well. So you have a physical copy and you have a digital copy as well, just so that, yeah, in the unlikely events that something should happen to it. Uh, yeah, at least you have a digital copy just to make your life a bit easier picking up from where you left off. And um, yeah, there, there are pretty good diving apps nowadays where you can log your dives and you can add all this information onto it as well. So if you ever go back to where you're going, you can just double check exactly how much weight you were wearing, what you saw there, uh, what the water temperature was like, whether you were warm or you were cold, whatever. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of divers are moving over to a more digital logbook. Um, but it's always nice to have a, a tangible, tangible copy as well. Yeah, I had the same problem. Um, I, I can't remember uh, what happened, but yeah, I, I, there's a big chunk of my uh, my dive log that's just missing. Um, so I just had to restart. And I, I, I did restart as I stopped uh, like my teaching career. I started from scratch as a more like my, my recreational diving logbook, just that it was a bit separate. Um, so I don't know my exact dive log number. Um, but if you're only on like sub 50, then yeah, I'd probably just start from roughly where you think you were and, uh, and go from there. Otherwise, yeah, it's just gonna take you more time. I mean, granted, the more experience you have before you go on to dive master, the better. Um, it's it's better if you can experience like bad things because if you see like an o-ring blow or if you've seen someone uh, who's about to drop their equipment they, they leave something stood up that'll make you a better dive master because you can go oh i've seen that before uh, i've seen that red flag let me just sort that out for them um but yeah, that's where you're gonna be judged more instead of like your actual logbook. Uh, it, it's usually like a formality where they just look at it. Sometimes you photocopy it as well. Uh, and that's kind of about it. Uh, but there's no like checks and we don't go back and call your dive buddy and just go, oh, hang on. This single dive number 32 hasn't been signed off or dual signed. Um, no, they're, they're not that. Um, uh, they're not that serious about making sure that every single dive is logged. It's more about just, yeah, you know what, they can handle themselves in the water. Yes, they do have a, uh, a log book signed and it has the number 50 at the top of it. That's good enough. Um, it might have changed since I did all of my uh, uh, my teaching and my, uh, my courses. But yeah, I don't think they're that... Um, fastidious when it comes to uh, to checking log books um but yeah any other questions pop them down in the comment section underneath this video uh, use that ask mark hashtag to get your question and yourself featured in an up and coming video thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving